Hi everybody, I'm Michael and this is California. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Patriot Pay Act, which is the first Republican proposal coming out to help follow up the CARES Act stimulus package that gave everyone $1,200 or $500 for their children. But this act is really gonna be designed for a little bit longer time frame as well as to try to get people to get back to work or help those folks who are currently working. It was put out today on Friday as usual by Mitt Romney and it was put out today so that they could just kind of drop it and leave it for the rest of the weekend and come back next week and get more specifics about the proposal and how things are going to work but today we're just going to do a real quick overview of what we know about it now and whether it's going to be possible to even pass but first if you do like the content that we're producing if you find it interesting and you find it useful please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button that way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available so let's look at the overview of how this Patriot Pay program is supposed to work. So it's really designed for folks who are currently working during the lockdown. So doctors, nurses, grocery stores, everyone who's working throughout this time who are essential to make sure they get a little extra money, in fact, a bonus to help pay for all the extra risk and all that extra effort they have to put in during the lockdown time frame. So taken right from Mitt Romney's website, it says this is designed for healthcare professionals, grocery store workers, food processors, and many others, the unsung patriots of the front line of this pandemic, every day risking their, their safety for the health and the well-being of the country, and they, they deserve our unwavering support. So really it's designed to put more money in the pockets of those folks who are working and also probably send a message to folks who are not that maybe there are going to be incentive to get back to work. And so uh, when we look at all the folks that it's dealing with, they're really talking about folks who make less than $90,000 a year. Um, so if you make less than $90,000 and you're working during the lockdown and you're deemed essential, then it is possible that you, through this bill, the Patriot Pay Act, um, people will be able to get additional money paid on top of what their normal paycheck is. So how the Patriot Pay Act is designed, or at least from the, the information that we have now, is designed that the people who are making working hourly will get an additional bonus on top of their hourly pay per hour. So for example, if someone's working uh, for $10 an hour, this plan will allow folks to get an additional $12 an hour on top of their normal hourly pay, up to a maximum of $1,920 per month. And that would be something that we'd be able to get for the months of May, June, and July. And that's for folks who make under $50,000. So that's a lot of the folks, a lot of the healthcare workers who are out there, a large portion of those folks are making less than $50,000. And so this plan would put a lot of extra money in their pockets, first to say thank you, which they deserve, and also to say, you know, that it's important to have this extra money during this time frame. And for those folks who are working, it definitely means that they can get additional money for um, the lockdown. Now, as their income goes above 50,000, it's gonna grade eight down up to 90,000. So you get less and less money as you make up to $90,000. And then any folks who make over $90,000 actually won't be eligible for the bonus. And the way this bonus would work for employers is that the government would actually pay 75% of the bonus and then the employer would pay the remaining 25%. So in the case where someone is making $12 extra an hour, the employer would be responsible for that first $3, and then the state would pay the remaining uh, $9. And so that's a really good way to kind of split up that cost to put some skin in the game from the employer, and then also have some benefits from the government coming back to help pay that for those employees who are working. Additionally, at the end of the year, when the, when the companies file their taxes, then be eligible for a tax credit to offset some of those extra costs of the $3 or the 25% that the employees would have to pay. But either way, for those folks who are working, for those folks who are out there toughing it out during the lockdown, it would mean they get an extra $1,920 per month for those three months uh, during this time frame. So the really big question is, does this proposal look like it's something that can actually pass? And, you know, I think that always being the first to uh, a proposal like this is sometimes a difficult situation. And again, this is the first proposal coming out of the Republican side for an idea of how to get money back into the pockets of folks during this lockdown time. And also say thank you to all those heroes who really are fighting at the front lines right now to help keep us all safe. Um, but that being said, you know, there is a process to creating uh, laws here in the United States, and it's in the very, very initial stage. In fact, 
it's very loose on a lot of the details that would be important. How much it's going to cost overall, how it would be implemented, and those kinds of things as well. Additionally, it's going to have to go through the House as well. So they've got to kind of agree on it coming out of the Senate. And that presents two main problems. One is that the Senate is in, uh, off, is in a session next week, but the House is not. So the House is not going to come back until May 11th, which means that there's a long period of time that this bill could actually take a lot of fire from many different sides before it ever gets to the point where they can start negotiating. Now, once they start negotiating, like any bill, it's going to look very different once if it ever gets to the uh, president's desk. So I'd be very interested to see how it is. Some other interesting sides of it is that the amounts of money that they're recommending are still kind of close within the same realm as the Democratic um, proposals as far as individuals go. So $2,000 a month plus $1,000 a month versus $1,920 a month. So the amounts are really kind of the same. It almost seems like it's just, you know, two different sides of the same coin. So I'd be interested to see how that works. And finally, another interesting and probably difficulty that will come up with this is for the employers. And being a small business employer myself, I see both sides of it in the sense that um, a lot of small businesses, uh, grocery stores, mom and pop shops that are open right now and who are you know, forced to buy additional pe uh, protective equipment and uh, be able to have an extra, extra me uh, methods of limiting the exposure for folks to all the kind of issues going on, those things are expensive and adding an additional three dollars per hour per employee may just not be capital that a lot of these small businesses have at the moment and so i can see how it would be difficult for a small business to say hey you know what i'm going to spend this additional three dollars yes we'll get the tax credit back at the end but the additional three dollars right now is maybe money that a lot of folks don't have and that could limit the amount the effectiveness of this proposal but again it's still early in the stages we'll have to see exactly what it looks like by the end of um by the end of probably mid to end of may we can look at what that looks like and again, I think there's going to be a lot more proposals coming out of the Republican side. This is just the first one being led by by Mitt Romney. Um, and again, once it gets through that process, we'll have to see. And we'll definitely make more videos about that. So, um, you know, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to look at our video. If you did find the information that we did today uh, interesting or useful or helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, you, that way you can get some of the newest and most informative videos that we uh, put out every uh, every week or every day in some cases. Cases. Additionally, uh, if you have any comments, you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Please put them in the boxes below and we can make, if there are questions, we can make new videos or make posts to respond to some of those questions or just kind of see what your opinions are as far as the comments go. And then finally, we here at California, we specialize in health insurance. So health insurance is what we know and what we do. So whether it's individual health insurance for uh, private health insurance or covered California or small group or Medicare or Medi-Cal, those are all services that we provide for anyone who lives here in California. California, and our services are always 100% free, so there's no cost for anything that we do for anybody who lives here in California. So if you do have questions or comments about your health insurance, and again, we'll make some more videos about that moving forward, but it can be confusing and frustrating to try to figure out which options are best for you. So if you have questions about those, please feel free to reach out to us at the information in the box below or leave a comment and uh, we'll be happy to help you out with that as well. So other than that, this is California and I'm Michael wishing you a happy, healthy day.